Hi there. The Catalan is like a queen's gambit with a fianchetto king's bishop. And this is the first Catalan trap we were recording. It's called the long bishop trap. Now after knight f3, knight f6, c4, e6, g3, d5, bishop g2, bishop e7, castles, castles and d4. This position could have been reached in any number of move sequences. So here, black captures on c4, and this is still a, a strongly theoretical position, with well over 10,000 times this position, just in my small database alone. And here I see Carlson, Kasparov, Topalov, and Aronian, to name but four of many players have gone for queen c2 targeting the pawn now on c4 immediately after black plays b5 a good try here by white is a move that uh, boris gelfen has played a4 and it's a good trap setters move because it encourages black to fall into this type of mistake to defend with c6 and now after this move, I think black is really losing. White now wins with A takes B5, C takes B5, and now white can open up that Catalan diagonal, that bishop, with a move knight G5. The bishop is targeting the rook on A8, and the only way to prevent the rook from being captured is knight to D5. But that makes the h7 pawn a target as the knight is no longer on f6 to defend it and the queen can simply capture with mate. After Gelfand's move a4, black would have done better to play b4 with an equal position. Okay, this has been our first Catalan trap. We're calling it the long bishop trap. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.